You know, this is the first year I've ever been invested in these award seasons. There were always some mystical thing I'd hear through articles or an Instagram post. And now I get to use the free trial of YouTube TV to witness the biggest event of them all. Woo! Let's get into some brief information about the event. Let's learn together, shall we? One more time for past viewers. The Oscars are strictly for movies held sometime after late February in which the winners are chosen by <coughs> the American Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. <laughs> There are about 10,000 members. Uh, those members consist of industry professionals, which begs the question, what do you mean? Those are actors, writers, producers, directors, makeup artists, editors, cinematographers, and the list goes on and on. So basically, people in the big categories of credits and people that have made a name for themselves. They're divided into 17 groups in which members can only vote for their corresponding category and for best picture. And if a member doesn't have a category like marketing and public relations, they only vote for best picture. If you have heard about the Academy Awards, these are it. The terms are interchangeable, my friends. There's a little more to it, but this isn't a history video on the Oscars, and I'll be leaving my two sources in the description. I hope you learned a thing, because I did. Now let's get to the fun, baby. How long are the Oscars? Well, I knew this, but I'm definitely not gonna catch the final episode of The Last of Us. I have been waiting so long for this event, and I truly mean it. The Film Olympics have arrived at the end of the week. I have not seen every freaking movie out there, and one could say that I'm maybe a little uncultured, perhaps. But damn it, I have some stakes in this game. And in this game, we have 23 categories in which I'll be splitting them up into two sections. The first being ones I'm not betting $1 million on in Vegas. And the second, if these don't win, I'm never watching a movie again. Let's go! <laughs> Starting at the bottom of the Oscars site is writing for original screenplay and adapted screenplay. I don't really mind who wins for original screenplay, I've only seen Tar and everything. Unfortunately, I've heard great things about all these movies and my biggest regret is that I cannot deliver a passion filled rant for some of these categories. I'll go for The Fablemans because it seems like a nice sentimental movie on Spielberg's life, but Everything Everywhere All At Once will probably win due to its grandness. As for adapted screenplay, I've only seen Top Gun and Knives Out. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention screenplay is a script including dialogue, action, and what goes down. I know some of the core people that watch my videos aren't really into this world. I'm giving this a Top Gun because it was my second favorite movie of the year, but seriously, I really don't mind who wins. All right, visual effects. I easily have an answer for this one, without a doubt. The Batman, come on, man. This movie did not get nominated for cinematography, and it is so goddamn sexy. Give it to Batman. Come on. I don't mind if Avatar wins because obviously it's a gorgeous fang. Wakanda Forever went hard on that scene when Shuri puts on that pressurized suit and she goes down in the water with Namor, and we see that compilation of his home while that music's hitting. It's impressive. It's beautiful. Congrats to the future winner. I actually saw My Year of Dicks two weekends ago while joking around with friends. And then while writing this script up, I realized that it was actually nominated. So we'll go with that. Love to see Elvis and the Whale go against each other in another category. But no bad blood. Whoever wins, wins. You can have that. Maybe all quiet on the Western Front? What constitutes great editing? I'm not entirely sure, but I have found myself saying, oh, I love how they edited that. Personally, I have to say, see how they run is my favorite edited because of the scenes where they'll split the screen in half and show another angle of what's going on. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know, man. Elvis or Top Gun? Favoritism votes, baby. It's the same freaking movies in all these categories. I haven't seen them all. Oh my goodness. And I've never, I, how would I know? I have never said, damn, that's some good directing. Bardo False Chronicle of Truths. I bet these movies are all beautifully shot, but I'm not gonna repeat myself for who I'd vote for. <laughs> So uh, I guess Kate Blanchett or Michelle Yeoh. Michelle Yeoh is probably gonna win this and I would cheer for anybody that. <laughs> 
I know there's some controversy regarding Andrea Riseboro, but remember, Mick LaSalle, your opinion is not law. <laughs> so for actor in a supporting role, I only know about Kihi Kwan, and he's been killing it at other award ceremonies. And I hope he wins this one as well. He's been raking them in. Although I am curious about Barry Keegan's character in Banshees, because from the few snippets that I've seen, he j it just seems like he's a innocent, goofy fella. Damn, I wish I knew more. Whoa, whoa, I have an answer for sound. Elvis is my favorite movie of 2022 and of all time, but The Batman, what a grand shame that it did not get nominated for original score. Instead, we get this sound. If not The Batman, Elvis, take the win home. Production design. What a very uh, difficult, compelling case we have here. Babylon only has three nominations and Elvis has eight. So I would love to see Babylon win something. I honestly love the look and feel of Babylon. And if I'm being honest, yeah, I'd place it over Elvis. I really do get sucked in there, but I would be fine with any of these nominations if they won, except Avatar. I don't know. It feels like a sore thumb in all of these other earthly movies. For original score, again, we are throwing ourselves for Babylon. And just a reminder, folks, I'm no critic, I'm no analyst, I'm no reviewer, I'm just somebody with emotion. It's my opinion. Babylon's soundtrack is a bop, and I've actually saved a few tracks from it. Which is what my answer would be if I was a sheep! The Batman obviously has the best goddamn soundtrack! Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> and out of my face with that. Next! Straight up for costume design, it's Elvis. Mrs. Harris, you're fancy. Babylon, you are my second pick. But there's no way that you cannot convince my brain that Elvis isn't the winner here. Yeah, it's copying existing wardrobe, but that does not diminish its quality and beauty. This should be an easy win. I have quite the beef with this whole animated feature film thing. I will need to make a video on this, and I cannot stress how necessary the need is. Pinocchio, you got this, brother. Angela Bassett, hands down. I saw everything, and I saw The Whale. Whale's my fourth favorite movie of 2022. But Wakanda Forever is my top third favorite. And her performance as the queen, being Shuri's only family left, trying to include her on traditions and giving her guidance, just makes her death much more impactful because she was indeed a staple in Wakanda. The way she handled that confidence in the beginning is mm, such an impact, ratatouille mouth flavor explosion. Give me something harder to nominate. Ask and I shall receive because I think I'm most passionate about this category right here. I wholeheartedly, without a shred of doubt in my brain, would love if Austin Butler won this. He's poured two years of his life becoming this other man and building such a connection with him. Not only is his performance exceptional, but the movie has become special to me. I feel like there's so much anticipation behind his win. And let me remind you, I'm not coming from a place of critique or review. It's only passion and emotion. My second choice is Brendan Fraser for The Whale. And I know that one of these two gentlemen will win. They've got, they've got it. Man, I don't trust this section one bit. Let me tell you how in 2020, Ford versus Ferrari, Joker, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, with a few more absolute bangers, were nominated for Best Picture. But you know who won? Parasite. Parasite. What? Great movie, but the exquisiteness and bravado of the others. But Parasite won? Okay, man. At the time of recording, I've only seen four of the 10 best pictures. I will be seeing Banshees of Inner Sharon and All Quiet on the Western Front as they are available on streaming before this upcoming Sunday. I prefer Elvis and Top Gun. I could see most of these winning, but I think and feel like everything everywhere all at once is gonna take the win here. That movie has been throated left and right that the win just feels like natural. It's an obvious choice to pick. And if you made it this far and you aren't subscribed, hit that thing up and support my channel. I love talking about all things that interest me in a non-harsh way. 
I'd appreciate it so much and I will be releasing a follow-up video next week post awards. Look out for a community post after I watch Banshees and All Quiet on the Western Front as maybe my picks will shift. Maybe. And as always, love what you like beautiful people. I don't even know whose shirt this is. I just found it in my bag and it's like the only thing I have to wear at the moment.